Eurotech, you've probably seen a video before with Nick and I. Nick made that claim. You've probably seen that video, Steve, as well. Eurotech, the claim, we've never lost a test cut. Is that true? That's very true. And, and why a, is that? There are reasons why. Number one, Eurotech, they concentrate 100% focus on multi-axis turning. So that's all they do. They don't build mills or grinders, 100% turning, multi-axis turning. The other feature um, that's built into all the Eurotech machines is special software that allows functions in the machine to happen simultaneously. So the way you can gain or lose cycle time, I would say, or make parts faster is by eliminating uh, idle operations. So the Eurotech has software built in into the FANUC controller that allows things to happen simul simultaneously. In other words, the part catcher can come out while the machine is cutting instead of waiting for everything to stop and pick up the parts. Um, the milling capabilities on the machine are extremely strong. We're talking 15 horsepower live tools with 12,000 RPM, 53 foot-pounds of torque. So you basically have a, a mill inside of a lathe. So you can that, accomplish a lot. That is, so So many of those aspects, I'm, I'm, my, my wheels are spinning right now. And the first thing that pops in, which is the cartoon side of me and the creative side is me, me, you know, <laughs> you think of the Roadrunner. But then the analytical side of my brain goes, okay, that makes complete sense. If I have all my axes moving at one time and there's no downtime moving something into a safe zone while something else comes in to cut and then move it. I mean, we're saving tons of time. But tell me more. Exactly. I'm, I'm intrigued. Tell me more about this special software that they have. I'm very curious to learn more about that because I see FANUC here, but there's obviously something behind the scenes that I'm not seeing. Tell me more. Right. What they do, uh, Eurotech, under the name of Eurotech, they bring in machines from... Uh, uh, both Italy and in Spain. And what they do is uh, they'll take a FANUC control, but they have their own set of software engineers that are working on, on their own particular machines. So what they'll do is they'll rewrite a lot of the ladder logic and basically override all the limitations that FANUC puts into the machine with their own software to allow the machine to do these multiple functions simultaneously. Are we allowed to say this on camera with FANUC right here? We could say it. <laughs> Fanta builds a great control, so does Mitsubishi, but we need to make them faster. In I the production that. environment, people need, need to make parts as quickly as they can. So that's how we're able to win a lot of these cycle times. So we're winning these cycle times, obviously a part of this, but I have to bring it up as well, even though I say obviously, we're talking about speed immediately. We're talking about always being in motion and making these things work. We're talking about a specialized software, but you can't continue to win on harder materials, on difficult materials, on intricate jobs, if the precision's not there, if the rigidity's not there to go along with it. Does the Eurotech also incorporate or encompass all of these attributes as well? Ab absolutely. Uh, these particular machines, all of your mating surfaces are hand scraped. Uh, they have a, uh, every machine comes with a chiller. So they're actually running cooled oil through the uh, spindle housings, the turret housings, and they actually apply cooled oil to the ball screw nuts. All of that is, is uh, runs through a sensor in the base of the machine. So the machine is extremely thermal stable. So you fire this machine up in the morning for a minute or so, and you're dead accurate through the whole rest of the day. That's one of the things our customers tell us the most, the, the, the accuracy throughout the longevity of a production day and, and of course, the, the, the milling and capabilities on the machine and things like that. So they're very accurate. Speaking of milling, Steve, I'm happy you segued me in. Normally, I'm segueing you into the conversation. But speaking of milling, you started off talking about its, its strength, its power, its torque, its horsepower, right? You yes. talked about those things. I would say there's a lot of folks out there right now watching this that are using turning centers to do milling jobs because they find that maybe a bar feed is gonna accentuate their production process and do more through the night, right? So they're utilizing that live tooling on a regular basis. And to have that horsepower, that strength to maybe do jobs that potentially previously could not be done, that's a whole new world too. Well, Tony, that, that's a great point. We've actually sold a, a couple of Eurotech machines where people are doing very little turning on them. They're using them as milling centers, but because of the nature of the part, some of them are round, um, it's easy to load into a chuck, whether you use a, a robot system like you see here or bar feed, but um, you know, 85% of the part is milling. 
and the rest is just cut off. And, and so, so a lot of these, a lot of customers are using these for milling center. Yeah, and I don't want to beat a dead horse because we talk about it a lot, but at the same time, there's still people only just now getting introduced to automation. So let's talk about it. I mentioned bar feed. We talk about all the different aspects of what autonomous running can be from the software side of things and the machine monitoring side of things to the more obvious robot and cobot side of things. We have a robot behind us. It's feeding part by part. Let's talk right. about this work cell. Yep, this work cell is uh, it's made by Halter. Uh, very robust. Uh, this, this particular robot can handle up to 77 pound workloads. It can run some very large pieces in it. Um, built in safety requirements, you know, so you, you, nobody gets hurt. Obviously we don't want anybody hurt by the machine. Uh, it, it, it's just, it, it's a great unit. Uh, it's, it's not one to be moved from machine to machine once you set this thing up. Not that it can't be used on other machines, but it's more of a stationary robot. But uh, for productivity to run 24 seven, without an operator being there, uh, they're, they're great units. Yeah, and even if just to your point of, you know, we have collaborative robots, the Cobot world as well, which you guys at Maryville deal in. This right. one's a more stationary, but that doesn't mean that jobs can't be switched. You can put all oh, sorts of absolutely. different jobs in there. It's just gonna stay on the one machine for the most part, as a general rule, right? Right, you can uh, change out the grippers, change out the work table to a different part and you're ready to go. Yeah. And then and you just program it. Um, uh, obviously, bar feeders. One thing about the Eurotech product uh, that makes it, uh, it, it's a very easy sale, is Eurotech brings these machines in with every option that you could think of for two reasons. Uh, to run unattended and to monitor your tool life and things like that. Um, I've got several customers running these things lights out, and, and that's the, the purpose of the machine. They're not the least expensive machines on the market, but they're the most return on investment because of being able to run unattended. You know, Steve, sometimes I get tired of people talking about machine price only because we were talking more like price per part. You know, when we were putting machines down, I mean, parts down that have cost less because you would made them faster or more efficiently. Exactly. Or more, you know, all of these things matter so much more than that upfront cost in so many conversations. And that's the world we live in. Exactly. Extremely productive machines. Everybody that I've sold to has purchased more of them. And, uh, uh, and there's a reason for that, you know. But well, Steve, I don't know you well enough to know what kind of music you like, but have you ever heard that song, I win, 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 no matter what? I have not. He has not, but that's what Eurotech does, is win, 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 no matter what. I'm not gonna sing it to you today, Steve. You are in luck. The people behind the cameras are smiling because they don't want to hear it either. I'm a 70s classic rock and roll guy, so. Well, we're gonna go uh, sing some karaoke right now because I can do 70s classic as well. Excellent. Thank you all for watching. This is Eurotech, never lost a test cut. Thanks to Steve, I know so much more about it. I hope you do as well. If you want to know more, reach out to Maryville. They're incredible people here based on service and support for years. And guess what? They got people like Steve here as well. So even better, right? Steve, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it.